But first tonight at 6 o'clock, the potential for heavy rain and severe weather continues this weekend. Cities and counties are on standby to respond to any weather-related issues, including flooding. WRTV Stephanie Wade shares the Indianapolis Department of Public Works and Hamilton County Emergency Management's efforts to keep you safe. Starting tonight, Indy DPW will have dispatch teams, forestry staff, barricade crews, and traffic light technicians on standby. They say in case of any down trees or flooding in the roadways here, or if any traffic signals go out. A spokesperson tells me these are the main issues we see during severe weather, and they want to be prepared. We're going to have staff um, on standby and on call throughout the weekend. Hannah Scott Carter says street flooding can happen quick, even after just short, heavy bursts of rain. With the possibility of flooding in the forecast for the next several days, they're prepping for the worst. Up in Noblesville, the Hamilton County Emergency Management Team is making sandbags available to help keep water out. We have some communities that are in some low lying areas and you know even if it's just a few sandbags to help keep water out of the garage, we want to make sure that we're providing that service to them. Scott Carter says people can also do their part in minimizing the risk of flooding. Residents can be proactive in um, helping mitigate any sort of localized flooding in um, residential streets by going out before all the spring starts and checking their storm drains. And it's also really important for people to, to make sure that they have a plan. So when they do hear that there's a chance for severe weather or that there may be flooding, you know, think through what would you do if you did have flooding at your home or where would you go for severe weather and making sure that you review that with everybody in the household, especially kids. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. Stephanie, thank you. If a road is impassable because of high water or a downed tree, contact the Mayor's Action Center or Citizens Energy Group. Don't try to drive through any high water. As for sandbags in Hamilton County, they are available 24-7 on a first-come, first-served basis at the Household Hazardous Waste Center off of Pleasant Street in Noblesville. So what should you do if you are under a flood warning? Ready.gov says you should find safe shelter right away. Do not walk, swim, or drive through floodwaters. And depending on the type of flooding, evacuate if you are told to do so. If you can't leave home, move to higher ground or a higher floor. Kevin. 